My name is Patricia Worthily Foyer. I'm a claims representative. I'm a retired Army veteran of 26 years. I'm also a mom of two, and I do a claims representation. I do hearings and predetermination hearings. My job as a claims representative is very important to this department because as a claims representative, we represent veterans before veterans law judges, as well as at predetermination hearing. During those hearings, we help veterans attend to um, service connection as well as increases and try to prevent the veteran from receiving a decrease in their benefits, which ultimately affects their families. Patricia Worthily is one of my most experienced claims representatives, um, and which that was very key in this particular case because typically we go down a particular path when we're trying to determine if a veteran meets the requirements for establishing service connection. Um, but in this particular case, uh, Patricia used her expertise, her skills, and she navigated and instead of going down the usual path that we go, she kind of thought outside of the box. Um, and in doing so, she was able to get a grant for the veteran that typically, um, if the average person would have represented that veteran, they probably would not have been granted service connection. And ultimately, that veteran ended up getting um, awarded over $180,000 retroactive payment. So that was very important for a veteran. I was assigned to that particular veteran based on our office protocol. That particular veteran had filed a claim for his issue in 2012. Uh, his issue was denied in 2014. He followed all the protocols to keep his uh, claim alive. He came before me for a hearing with the veteran's law judge. And during my research and preparing for his case, I utilized some uh, issues that we don't typically use. So I had to come up with other ways to uh, get this veteran's point across. And what we used to determine and fight for this veteran was soil, which is something we typically would not use. So this case was particularly interesting for me, and ultimately the veteran was granted from 70% to an overall of 100% rating for a period of almost 10 years, and ultimately back down to 90%. So that veteran ultimately um, received a grant for that particular issue that was denied originally in 2012. The South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs we are here for the veterans and the widows. I think that it's key to have someone to advocate for them to ensure that they get anything that they may be entitled to. I think it's very important that a veteran utilize a veteran service organization. Navigating the VA waters is very hard to do. It's very hard to understand VA language. So it's always imperative that you have someone that understands the VA language and can help you navigate it to make sure that you receive all benefits that you are eligible for, as well as understand how you are eligible for those benefits and why you're not eligible for those benefits. 